Hello there, I'm Chrissy. This is my YouTube channel, Chrissy Love, I review fragrance. And today I'm talking about my three favorite commodity perfumes. They have quite a few perfumes, I think close to a dozen perfumes, and they're all just absolutely great quality and really impressive blends. So I'm talking about my very top three favorites today. And before I do, thanks so much for being here and liking and commenting and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, you might consider doing so because I post here twice a week with my fragrance content. Content. I also post my TikTok and Instagram channels closer to once every couple days, I'd say. So I'll put the links to those in my description box below so you can check that out. So thanks for being here and let's jump right into my review of my commodity perfumes. So I'm starting off with, I think, the sexiest of the bunch, and that is wool. Now this has top notes of grapefruit, mandarin orange, and apple, middle notes of lavender, cedar, basil, and artemisia, and base notes of gray musk, bourbon vanilla, amber, and Haitian vetiver. And this at first spray is a very stereotypical cologne type smell. It's spicy, it's a clean musk, it's kind of boozy, it definitely gives me aftershave vibes. But actually, I'm kind of getting into the more unisex cologne leaning sense, so I, I actually love it. <laughs> and then the dry down, this is basically Mon Guerlain for men. Like the lavender comes out more and it's this gorgeous, rich lavender. It has kind of like a masculine lean. It still has kind of aftershave vibes, but it's just so sexy. It's like riding that line. It's like wearing your leather jacket and getting on a motorcycle. It like makes me feel so empowered to wear this perfume because it has like ladylike lavender with a little bit of like aftershave. So it's like you put on your boyfriend's shirt or something like that. I absolutely adore it. And performance wise, it's really good. It really lasts all day. It projects all day on me, but it won't last like into the next day. Like it's not obnoxiously strong, but it's like just right in my opinion. So yeah, this is a really sexy one. If you're leaning toward unisex, it's kind of like the idea an aftershave type scent but don't want to go full on man that lavender really pulls it back and makes it more feminine so I am loving 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 wool kind of staying in that kind of unisex vein we also have velvet and this has top notes of clove almond and coconut nectar mill notes of rose petals vanilla flower and heliotrope and base notes of white woods birch and black amber and on first spray, this is really a sweet almond with leather on my skin. And the dry down, it becomes like smoky, bitter almonds. It's really interesting. Um, it still has this leatheriness to it, but there's some sweetness in there too. So this is one that's really atmospheric for me. It's, it's a mood. So it, it's a little bit masculine. It's a little bit androgynous, a little bit sexy. You know, it kind of like walks that line again. And that sweetness and the almond and the leatheriness. Now leather isn't a note in it, but that, I just get that vibe from it. Um, I think the woods might be adding to that feeling, but this is again, just beautifully blended. Just the right mix of masculine and feminine. And that like vanilla flower. Mm. Mm, it's so good. It's like a little bit smoky, a little bit incense-y. Um, it's a little bit daring. This feels like it's daring, but not offensive to those around you. Like, they're not gonna be like, oh, ew, what's that smell? Like, it's not gonna be hard for people to smell on you. It just like is a little bit unique and, and really beautifully blended. So I really, really love Velvet. This is another one that I'm excited to wear, especially in the winter time. I think it's gonna pop beautifully. Uh, hopefully it gets even spicier in the winter time. Actually, those cloves came out, I'll be really, really happy. So yeah, that is Velvet. Finally, I have gold, and I did review this before in my Sensual Fall Perfumes haul, um, and this has top notes of camphor, juniper, juniper berries, and bergamot, male notes of amber, benzoin, and Haitian vetiver, and base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, and musk. And on first spray, it's a sweet vanillic amber, so this is definitely not leaning toward masculine. I'm not saying it's not unisex, but it's definitely not masculine. Uh, in the dry down though, oh my God, it's so good. It's like this sweet vanilla with the rich tonka really playing a star role, but it's not candy-like or gourmand. It's like ambery and the benzoin is beautiful in there. It's just creamy and comforting and snuggly. Mm. Yeah, it's really delicious. A little, little bit of like juniper berry, just a little bit, just to kind of like add some edge to it. 
Performance wise, it's pretty much a skin scent after about half a day. I have to respray two or three times throughout the day to get the projection and longevity I really want. Um, but this is one you really want on your scarf in the winter time. It'll just make you feel like snuggly and cozy and sexy. And it's just absolutely beautiful. It smells expensive. It smells really elevated. Mm. I can't say enough good things. Like I love a good sweet scent. I love a good gourmand. This is not gourmand. This is like walking that line for me. This is like a sexy perfume for the gourmand lover who wants to not smell like a literal dessert for a night, who wants to be a little bit elevated. Yes, this is it. Love it. And my, by far my favorite of the three as well. They're all fantastic, but by far my favorite. So yeah, this is Commodity Gold. So now I want to know which commodity perfume is your favorite, if you've tried any of them, if there's other one you think I should really try that you love, I would love to hear that. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for being here. Hope you have a very beautiful day.